we're back. We're in round two, and boy, am I excited to see what happens with these eight meads. Frank, last round was pretty awesome. We saw 15 meads face off in battle. Now we're in round two, and these eight meads are ready to fight. Let's show you the board. Here is what we have so far. On the right side, we have 13 versus 10 and 4 versus 11. And on the left side, we have 2 versus 6 and 1 versus 15. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of flavor happening in number 4 and number 11. Number 4 is a, a bourbon boche mead that has quite a bit of character to it. And number 11 is a session mead made with lemongrass hops. I think that combo will be very interesting to see them kind of go at each other. They're super different. So we'll see which one really does come out on top. On the left side, we've got a berry battle. We have number one versus number uh, 15. Number one's a blueberry pomegranate and number 15's a strawberry and lavender mead. We didn't see number 15 last round, did we, Charles? We sure didn't. It passes right on, right on through because it's a competitor. Well, it's competitor that didn't show up. Charles. I think it's time. Yes, it is, Frank. Into round Rap. two. All right, where are we here going? is the uh, first round of, of this. This is 11 versus four. Of course, I'll put some information on the screen for each one of these. As you're curious, it'll be down below. But let's start with 11, keeping our same uh, idea as before. Oh, interesting. Went flat. This mm -hmm. is definitely gone flat. Yeah. Do you want to re pour? Yeah, that might or just at least have like a we'll top it up. Yeah, a top, here, here. All right, a little fresher, it, fresher. It. Still very dry, bright floral though. Yeah, I, my my really my only complaint is I want this to be just a bit sweeter. Yeah. But I think that hop character is maintained really well. Uh -huh. The acid balance on it is good. It's, it's just not a lot going on. Oh, it's just okay. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's simplicity is totally fine. But it's just like, like we said earlier, it just feels like you're drinking a seltzer. Like mm -hmm. it's just, but there's no like pineapple or right. like you right. know berry whatever. It's just just just. Yeah, maybe like a dry like hop. Like a natural like seltzer. A, I mean, <laughs> this may have been dry hopped, but maybe more quantity hops. Yeah. To get a little bit more of that. Or like a juicier hop. I don't mind the hop character. It's the sweetness that's Yeah, I want more honey mm -hmm. character. Mm -hmm. So this is 11, by the way, we're not we're tasting currently. And it may be as simple as changing the type of honey that they're mm -hmm. using. Yeah. yeah. It may just be something like that and, and getting your sugar levels up just a smidge. Just I, I wouldn't go too much with it because I like that it's dry. Okay. Let's move on. These so, like those 11, oranges. we're now moving on. This is four that we're taste testing. These are so polar opposite. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's apples and oranges. This one's still so, like, coffee, toffee. I like that warming, mm -hmm. though. This is opened up some, too, which has gotten your, nice. Yeah, sweeps through your chest. And it doesn't have any of that... Sometimes with this flavor profile, you get too much acid, so it feels a little cidery or a little boozy. This has but some booze on it. I will say it's the warm. It's yeah. not sharp. Mm -hmm. Flavor-wise, complexity-wise, it's very good. This reminds me of almost like a coffee cocktail of some sort that has some... Kind of like something. a cold brew yeah. type thing. Yeah. I see, I see what you mean. Um, okay. <laughs> well, so on the green right now is number four. And on the red is number 11. I'm going to go ahead and vote. I, my vote, I think the, oh, interesting. I, I think this one, number four, just presents more mead character, more honey, uh, it preserved honey character better. Mm -hmm. Like the, the internal little bullseye of mead being honey is, is more well represented. Interesting. Here. I think they're both a similar quality product, even though, uh -huh. like you said, they're apples to oranges. I think conceptually, this one is more appealing to me. There, well, yeah, I'll say, in some regards, the hop character can be overwhelming. Like he did a good job mm. of this, of presenting hop character and keeping that roundness. I think she also did a great job, though, of mm -hmm. 
like there, there's not one character in here that is so overwhelming. And sometimes when you have so many flavor fo profiles, you can really just uh, make it hard to enjoy because you're you're overwhelmed. I'm yeah. a tiebreaker here. Right? Yeah, you are the tiebreaker. I just there there is some harshness in here. Mm -hmm. There is a little bit of youth in here. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like this three months from now might be quite a bit better. And this one, I just I feel like the concept is more interesting, and I think it was well executed. I my only critique <coughs> is that I want it to maybe be a little bit sweeter. Whereas this, I think I have three or four things I'd like to see tweaked mm -hmm. on it. I'd like to see this with more time, and I feel like that's something that you can't necessarily fix. Yeah. Where this has more things to fix. Interesting. More things you can you have control of fixing, I should say. Uh, okay. Well, tiebreaker. Man, I mean, I was trying not to listen to you guys, but you guys have been very both very good. <laughs> yeah, I agree with both of those things. Kind of, you know, it's it's one of those things. It's just like if I wanted, if I instinctively if I wanted to pick one up and drink it mm -hmm. it would actually probably be this mm -hmm. because it's just got a little bit more going on that that said um, I could definitely drink a lot more of this and I think <laughs> and I think I think it's just like taking it at face value for what it is it's very well executed. This is very overwhelming. Like, it's like a, a glass in your dime. Yeah. But it's, again, it's like, it's so difficult to compare these things because it's just so... They're, they're both very excellent. Yeah. They're both excellent. Yeah. In my I mean, opinion. they're very, very well made. You were saying apples and oranges. It's almost like you're comparing, like, summer to winter. Yeah. Like a like, car to an yeah. apple. <laughs> they're so totally different. Totally different. Yeah. yeah. I can't even... I, you gotta make but a choice though. You have to. So. Um, Alright, well, you know what? Um, other than the hops, I don't think there was any adjuncts in this. So I don't I don't think that there was anything being hidden. That's mm -hmm. that's kind of the other thing. I'm willing to bet there's adjuncts in this. Or something. I looking at the label, it's kinda hard to know. I'm, I'm going to agree with you, actually, <laughs> right. on this. I'm going to go with this, even though I actually enjoy the flavor uh -huh. of this more. I think this was a little bit better executed. Oh, according right. to the label, I think all she did I didn't read the label. was she bocheted the honey, and then it sat on oak. Mm -hmm. okay. And so I don't know if there was anything else that was added in there, but it does have like a like a date or a raisin, like a dry fruit. I, have to, I have to say... I could have let either of these go through and have been really, really happy. Yeah, yeah. I, had they're, they're both really delicious. In that well case, done. Yeah, there you go. Star. So, Congratulations to you. Number 11 moves on <laughs> in this case. All right, we, we are on our next round. We have number 10 versus number 13. So let's start with number 10. Okay. Another, well, one's definitely lighter than the other. Just in that little time in between, these have opened up some, which is presenting a few new characters. Mm. Yeah, I love that like candy flavor that mm -hmm. you get out of. I like the, honey. the honey character. It almost has like a slight licor like licorice mm -hmm. um, taste to it. Yeah, there's like a fennel mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah, very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. nah, I agree with that. So this was this is number ten we're talking about right now. I mean, this is just, it's stellar. Yeah, it's I do hard to I argue do, with. do still think that it needs a slight hint of tannic, a little something more clingy, because it's all it washes down pretty fast. Like the sweetness level is nice, mm -hmm. the the floral side is great. It just misses that little bit of doesn't grip you as yeah. much. It kind of slides off. This is no contest for me. Okay, so that's number ten. Number thirteen. Yeah, you're right, man. Like thirteen is good. Oh yeah. But comparing the head to head, it's kind of this one has a little too much acid tartness to it. 13 is just a little too grippy. I will agree. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it does cranberry well, but I I think cranberry is too acidic this, for something like this. Right, and this presents honey character so forward so well. I so probably cleanly. you could use cranberry in, like, 
for that, you know, like for its darkness. Mm -hmm. In conjunction with something else, and still taste that cranberry, mm -hmm. but you're gonna get so much more out of it. It's 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 place in this sort of setting serves a different purpose. I don't know if being up front is its maybe its best. Cranberry is hard to do well. Anytime yeah. you look on the internet, especially for mead making, people are always a little nervous to do it because the the pH balance of it can mm -hmm. be such yeah, a hard. Yeah, it's like if you're doing like peach and cranberry. I don't know, just whatever you know, mm -hmm. peach and cranberry. You can use the cranberry as a way to up your tartness, as a way to like yeah. drive yeah. something mm -hmm. and not put that up front so that it's just distracting from everything else that's happening. Well, and I think, so this is a no water cranberry, so either he used all cranberry juice or he uh, literally pressed cranberries, which I would be impressed by if that was... So just finding fresh cranberries is really, <laughs> it's really hard. Um, but like, I feel like it needs a little bit of like warm spice and orange zest, something to, you know, like cranberry sauce. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, so yeah. you get some more complexity there where this is it's cranberry juice. Without. It makes me want to try to do a cranberry meal. Yep. So, uh, right, well, we have a winner. Number so. 10 in this case <laughs> moves on. So let's go to our next one. Okay, so we are in the next round. This is number one versus number 15. I'm going to go ahead and put these out here. One's red, 15 is green. And 15 we haven't had yet. 15's new. Since we had 15, we had 15 meads in total. Mm -hmm. We had to uh, have one move on without uh, a battle. So should we start with that one then? Let's do. Yeah, let's start with that one since it's brand new. Here's 15. Oh, that's a. Oh, that was a lot of fruity, a lot of um, smoky. I do get like a little bit of hib like hibiscusy. Uh, say, uh, what's it like that? There's a herb in here. It's like sweet basil oak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think whatever adjunct that is that we're tasting, because mm -hmm. I think we're all thinking of the same thing, is what's causing that bitterness. There's some. There's some bitterness. There's some. There's earthiness to this, which is very mm -hmm. interesting. I haven't experienced earthiness in much of these at all. So it's it's almost like sage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a like, you know. You, Breakfast sausage will have sausage uh -huh. in it, and it's that like grassy, gritty, floral kind of thing. It took a moment for me to get, come around to it. It's it's better. I, I mean, I think everything once you get used past the first sip, you can kind of understand it more. The first sip was a bit jarring to me, but I do think there's a mm. the the sweetness <laughs> level's nice. Odd. Sweetness it is, level's it's nice. It's kind of odd, yeah. There's a, the tannic values. I, okay to me it's it has a little oddness to it it's not like a normal tannin um it's young though or there, it tastes young there's there's a burn in there it's very it's like very floral too and i think that's kind of contributing to that bitterness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so that was uh number 15 here's number one mm. oh, yeah i need a need a shot yeah. though I feel like I'm in the same dilemma I was in <coughs> earlier. With his, they're not quite as starkly different, yeah. but they're both about as equally well made. I feel like, and I don't mean that in a negative light. I just mean they're about as far as like the competency of them both. They're about the same, but they have such different issues. You know. Oh, I'll call you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Huh. Neither of them are really bad. I don't. By think, any means. I don't think either of them are really great either. Um, That's but fair. I think. I think that this one is less difficult to drink, and so that gets my vote. This one's kind of hard to suck down. Oh. Like it's not like triggering a gag reflex or anything, but I I definitely like have to convince myself to take another sip. This one has, 15 has a slight, I, I don't know if you just said this, but it's no, <laughs> like, robitussin -y, like, ness to it. There's like a slight edge to it. Well, I think it's that bitterness he's talking about. This is so lackluster <laughs> that it, I have no interest in drinking it. I'm, yeah, I'm, oh, actually, well, gonna, I'm, I'm actually gonna go there. Okay, well. No, it's too late, Garrett. You already put your hand. No, I, I, I had my numbers back. No, I, I think that in this case, 
this one to me, with just a slight bit of tweaking, I think it could really. Uh, I feel like up. this needs less work than that. Maybe I. I think some honey <coughs> to back this would also help to take a lot of the brightness away that's jarring, and really kind of warm it up. This one to me could be just time that's needed here, but there are some some popping flavors that I don't think are going to go away necessarily with time. Like some flavors will uh, will fade out more so than others. There are some yeah. bright floral notes that I think will only get stronger and stronger. And they're already a little overwhelming in some regards to me. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So number one moves on. Let's get to our last round for this one. We are in our last of this round, so this will dictate who moves forward, exactly. and then we'll be in round three. Woo. We have um, number two and number six. Now number two is on the green. Number six is on the red. Let's go ahead and get to tasting. We'll get a little bit more number two here. Yeah. Oh, is this sparkling? Um, at some point it might have been. I think that might have been. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, yeah, it was. Well, it was earlier. Yeah. Okay. And it had a fizz when I popped it. Oh, that's right, it did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, I just freshened up a little bit. You might do the same thing, Tony. That carbonation that's there adds adds some stuff that- It definitely moves it around. Okay, here. I'm gonna dump a little out because my cup's pretty full. Oh, I remember, this is the peach one, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. I really like the floral, uh, we talked about this already, mm. the floral side of this. It it's is very fruity. Mm -hmm. it's perfumey. It, we, we briefly talked about how this is. It carries through though on the palate, like it doesn't lose itself at all. It's like, oh, it smells great, and then you taste it and it's like, there's nothing right. there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Maybe it's because I know it's peach now, but there is a, a bright fruity flavor. I would still not pick it out as peach, but I would pick out a bright fruity flavor that could also be confused as Bright floral. Yeah, I was just gonna say is is you could easily convince yourself that that's based on the honey varietal, not mm -hmm. on any adjunct or fruit that has been added. I am curious how this would do hopped. Mm -hmm. I am. I if somebody just handed me a can of this at the lake or whatever, like I would drink a bunch of. Yeah, it. <laughs> no, no, it's good. <laughs> it's it's really good. Yeah. And I think with like a, a fruity hop like calypso, where you get some of those stone fruit, grapefruit, or citra where it's like all like orange peel, lemon peel kind of flavors could really complement this really well. I, I wonder if using a different stone fruit might actually be better or using or using peach and then supporting it with like apricot or something else mm -hmm. just to help it. Cause it does get a little bit lost. Yeah. And that might be a good move just to change that to so that you have two different fruits in there to kind of help carry it. Yeah. I do think this next yeah. one will be interesting though. Yeah. It's a very bold pairing of the two. So this is um, the big berry one. This one it's to me really has good. a very, very, very good balance of sweetness to acidity to tannic value. Yeah, this one's really well executed. I think that it, it's so like jammy, you use that word a lot with mm. these things, but it is, it's very full body. And I love that. I mean, that's something yeah. that I feel like I'm always chasing Probably only coming from using real fruit juice slash mm. fermenting maybe on skins. I'm, I'm probably pretty high final gravity. I'm mm -hmm. going to oh yeah, this is like 10, go, 40, 10, go for sure. the direction that you guys went and say that probably one of the last ones we talked. This was probably harder to do, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's still really well done. I mm -hmm. think at, at, at some level, and which is making me want to go with that. Even though I think this is really tasty, um, we've had a lot of those today again, and like I think this was harder to do, and I still think he did a good job. It's still super drinkable. Um, really, outside of like supporting the fruit character, that's all it really needs. It's just a little mm -hmm. bit more fruit character. This could dial back the alcohol a little bit more. I think it is. Still pretty acidic. I think that could be dialed back a little bit more, um, just to make it a little bit more balanced. Mm -hmm. I think there's more to do here than there is on that. So the point he makes about this needing, <clears throat> or, or being more difficult to execute, I think is right, except for the fact that they wrote peach on the label and I feel like if 
if peach is in there, if it's supposed to be a peach hydromel, it should taste like peaches up front. Yeah. And so I do think there's more refining that could be done to this. Uh, there's that's a, a, for a hydromel, it's really well done. Yes, hydromel, very well done. There's essential refining in fruit character that I'm missing. If, if I saw mm -hmm. someone hand me a can of peach hydromel mm -hmm. and I taste it, and I'm not immediately thinking peach or whatever, right. then my brain goes, well, I, that's where I'm at. If this didn't say that it was peach and it was just supposed to be a hydromel, this would be the clear winner. But I think that this one is better. Mm -hmm. okay. so, I, 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 I yeah, really see I, your point. Here's the thing. This is a tough one because they're both really good. They're both very This very is the kind of situation we had earlier. Yeah. Like if we had been comparing these two, it would be a different conversation. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, that, absolutely. This one would kill that one, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I think, okay, well, in this case, I don't know. It's almost, you know what, it's almost like, the, my only problem with, mm. like, doing this this way <laughs> is that we're almost, like, fighting, like, brawn with brains, you know? Mm -hmm. Because, because, yeah, it's like, how do you, how do you compare these things that are just so starkly mm -hmm. different? Uh, it all and in boils, their own right, like kind of have. But it boils down to execution. I think right. at the end of the day, this is execution. I think that's what we're. That's at least where my brain is. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think these are both really good. That was, this was a tough decision. Number six moves on. Number six moves on. So this was the last round of our round two. It's already flying by. Flying by. I know. Next one will be round three, and it will be the four we have left here going against each other and then of course the very final one will be the final two so make sure you go and check out um if you didn't already see it the first one to see what what all is there we had a start of 15 meads so if you're just catching this this was only eight of them um and there were seven more that were also very fun to to go through so check that out make sure that you leave a comment did your person stay in did your did the mead you anticipated stay in um you know i think that that's part of the fun of all this. So, uh, BC, Tony, we're about to uh, embark on the next adventure. You guys ready? Absolutely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See you guys around three. Quick breather. Yeah. Uh, absolutely.